There have been dramatic scenes in the capital of Papua New Guinea. In a show of strength, Peter O'Neill and his supporters have occupied the Prime Minister's department in Port Moresby. His rival, Sir Michael Samari, and his supporters had been based in the building, but not anymore. Peter O'Neill says the move should end the uncertainty surrounding the country's leadership. From Port Moresby, here's ABC correspondent Liam Fox. Is this Peter O'Neill's checkmate? This afternoon, he and 75 other MPs made the short drive from Parliament House to Murata House, the home of the Prime Minister's Department. He says this symbolic move should end any uncertainty as to whether he's the country's legitimate Prime Minister. Uh, let me uh, uh, reassure the people of Papua New Guinea and the international, and the international community and the business community in, uh, in our country. Let me assure you that there is only one government in this country. His rival, Sir Michael Samari, hasn't been seen in public since Wednesday. All government premises have been now secure. Uh, all public servants are urged to return to work. We have a huge challenge ahead of us. The O'Neill government says their rivals attempted to call out the Defence Force onto the streets of Port Moresby overnight. Well, senior officers of the Defence Force, I have spoken to them. They will not implement that call-out order because it is illegal. Earlier in the day, there was another sign that Sir Michael's influence is waning. Around 20 police officers that were loyal to him handed themselves into the police commissioner that's loyal to Peter O'Neill. The situation that we're facing now, it's not us. It's a matter between two political groups. We are caught in between. Is this the end of Sir Michael's claim to PNG's prime ministership? It certainly looks so. Liam Fox, ABC News, Port Moresby.